guys, it's Sarah. I feel like I'm kind of having a bad hair day, so should I wear this hat? Actually, you know what? I don't even care if you said no. I'm still gonna wear it. Oh, all of a sudden you a bad bitch. Just got a bad ass. I don't really know how to wear hats. By the way, I'd like to start off this video by showing you what a fan made of me. It's a fan art. I'm sure we're all familiar with these. Except this one isn't pornographic. Okay, one, I would like to thank this fan because you portrayed me in a way where I actually feel really good about myself. You gave me boobs. Let's just start out with that. Like, if we look here, um, no. This is pretty much all padding. So thank you for that nice cleavage. Mmm, them thighs though. You made me look like that I do squats all day, every day. Like, I do squats, but my thighs aren't that big. They are big, but not that big. People say my eyebrows are on fleek, but you made my eyebrows look more on fleek. Also, you made my hair look like it has no split ends. And aw, you made me blush. So yes, just like the picture says, you made me look fabulous. And oh my gosh, I have those anime eyes. And I'm like, hello, halos. So yeah, thank you, senpai. Okay, now here's the latest news that's been happening in the past couple days. Okay, speaking of fabulous, new pictures of Harry came out, and mm, damn. Like, I don't know about you guys, but just everything to do with this picture, like, I don't even know. The black and white version of it, the sunglasses hanging from the shirt, the hair, everything, the lighting, his face, his face. Harry Styles. I think that pretty much sums it up. That's Harry's signature look, you know, like he doesn't even have to smile. He's just like, are, are you done yet? Are you done taking the picture? I have other, you know, important things to do. Yeah, that's my face. I'm a frog. He needs to go back and hang out with his hedgehog. And I know these pictures are probably three weeks old, but we also got pictures of Harry hugging a fan. He has his sunglasses and beanie on, like usual. This is why I love the new pictures of Harry, because I think he's getting more comfortable with his hair. He's starting not to wear a hat. See, even in this one, Harry was FaceTiming a girl from the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and see, his hair is out. And I'm pretty sure it's because he's inside. I mean, if he was still wearing a hat inside, I'd be like, Harry, why do you hate your hair so much? But no, I love it. Looks like he just got out of bed, but like in a good way, like in a Harry styled way. At first, I didn't know that this was for a Make-A-Wish Foundation, so I was like, how do these fans get to FaceTime with Harry? Like, do they know him? Do they have his phone number? Why hasn't this happened to me yet? But then I felt bad because I'm like, oh, you have to be like a sick patient child person to talk with him, and that's awesome. It's cool that Harry takes the time out of his day to do that. Also regarding the Make-A-Wish Foundation girl, she wrote this. She's like, hey y'all, I'm the fan in the FaceTime with Harry. Just wanted you all to know that I'm not terminally ill and the whole make a wish foundation thing was a misunderstanding a friend of mine is working with him and decided to surprise me with a, with a call with him which was super unexpected and incredibly nice and a great experience i've had a really terrible couple of months recently and my anxiety depression has been crazy so this felt unbelievable and that feeling translated into a bad caption girl i know how you feel once you meet harry styles you cannot formulate words let alone sentences, or sentences, let alone words. What? Maybe I just met Harry. No, if I met Harry, I would not be doing an update vlog. I would be showing you guys the footage of that, and I would probably be hyperventilating more. Anyway, so girl, I get it. Okay, so that was all good news with Harry pictures and stuff, but now let's get to, um, Freddy and Babygate news, you know, the huge. Okay, so this person was pointing out that the Pampers baby looks exactly like Freddy, and they were basically saying that it's probably the same baby. Okay, I don't know if they were implying that it was the same baby or that they just look similar. My opinion is that I think a lot of babies look similar because they're babies, but there's been a lot of theories going around that there are two Freddies, and one's just a stunt or something, but I feel like that goes a little too far. I think that's reaching a little bit. I mean, Freddy and that Pampers baby do look very much alike, but I think the Pampers baby looks a little bit more female, whereas Freddy's a male. I mean, I doubt they'd be using a Pampers baby because that baby's busy doing commercials. But speaking about Freddy being in the media, there's been articles saying that Freddy will probably not be in the media anymore. He won't be photographed or papped. And I think it's because Louie doesn't want this. And I actually agree with this so much. Like, I know Freddy is kind of like a celeb baby because of Louie. And I know people can't control pap sometimes, but the fact that Brianna on purposely tries to like Instagram and Snapchat like everything all the time while she's a mom, that that's what makes it so unbelievable. So Brianna is in the wrong and Louie is in the right. Louie's like, you know, I don't want Freddy in the media anymore. I think he should try to live the most normal life as he possibly can. We cannot control the paps, but we can control what we put out there. But Brianna's like, nope, 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 fame. And also there's been a lot of negativity towards Brianna in articles too. I mean, like, I kind of feel bad because she's a person, but at the same time, I feel like she kind of set this up herself a little bit. So this is Brianna Jenworth moans about Twitter trolls. She said, to all those who feel the need to make disparaging, hateful, and inappropriate appropriate comments concerning me and my son Freddie, I am sincerely sorry that you have all chosen to focus your time and attention on my life and the life of my son. 
Surely you must have better things to do that pry into the personal life of a single mom and the newborn child. I'm a proud new mother that is extremely joyous about my child being in this world and I've shared that joy with my friends and family on a daily basis, oftentimes through social media. However, that does not give anyone the right or the invitation to be nasty and disparaging towards me. So please stop prying into my private and personal facts of my life and my son's life in order to weave stories and pique public interest. Now, okay, let's break this down. I know where she's coming from. Obviously, Brianna is a person and everyone deserves privacy. But I find it a little ironic because if anybody else said this like Louie, I would totally take it to heart and I would be like, yes, he is exactly right. But the fact that Brianna is saying this, I find it a little ironic. Because you know how people say actions speak louder than words? Well, her actions say, look at me. I want fame. I want money. Look at me. But then her words say the opposite. Like, oh, stop digging into my private life. I don't like it. Like, I'm just a normal person. Maybe I exaggerated, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm very confused by Brianna. Like, I understand her intentions of what she wants, but I think she's kind of like going about it the wrong way. Like, guys, here's the thing. Baby gate could easily end, but they're drawing it out on purpose, and I'm sure you guys have all realized that. Brianna says she has a right as a proud mom to post pics of her son, and she says she hasn't trashed Louis, so he has nothing to complain about. Louis convinced Brianna is blinded by jealousy over his relationship with Danielle, and she went crazy when Freddie came home with the smell of Danielle's perfume. Louis thinks things will be fine if Brianna just moves on. I am starting to really identify with Louis. I think Brianna should move on. Clearly, Louis does not want her in his life anymore. I know there's this thing with the joint custody like Louis still wants to see Freddie but that's also a part of Brianna I just think this is a whole mess and the fact that Danielle is involved in this little triangle of things it makes it even more messy like the whole jealousy thing this sounds like a fan fiction I'm sorry like I feel like when you're an adult like in your 20s there should be none of this like let's go to the media and say that we're all jealous of each other like this sounds like a whole like elementary school thing like I know that there's serious issues involved in this but I think everyone's just acting a little childish and I've said this on Twitter already, but guys, I think all the information we're being given is just to make One Direction stay relevant during the break. What if this is just all fake or like a scam or something? Like, I'm not saying everything is fake, but I'm just saying I think a lot of the stuff we're getting is just to hype us up. It's just to make us think, oh, One Direction still exists. Maybe I should stay in the fandom so when they come back, they'll still be getting money for the albums that they sell. This is all for money, all for publicity. Because people are worried that if One Direction come back from a two-year break, and they sell an album, it won't sell as well because people have forgotten about them. So they're trying to cause as much drama in the fandom so people remember them. And to be honest, I wish they did more positive things to help people remember One Direction, but this is the real world and we can't always get positive things. Okay, if I were to talk to One Direction's management, I would say, okay, if you want One Direction to be remembered during this break and when they come back, have Louie and Harry come out because, oh my gosh, the whole world would know. That band would be even more popular. And I know there'd be pros and cons about it, and it's not as easy as it sounds. But then again, Louie and Harry should only come out if they feel they're ready. Not only are we getting articles about this whole joint custody thing, but the media is starting to put Louie and Harry back in headlines for clickbait. This says, Harry Styles is flying high while Louie Tomlinson gets mad. So yes, I read the article, and it does mention Louie and Harry, so it's not total clickbait, but they're trying to get people to click on the article because it has Louie and Harry's name in it. We see you. We see you. I don't really know what the media's intention is. It's like they're contradicting themselves because their title is trying to make it seem like Louie and Harry still hate each other or they're mad at each other, like they're just not friends. But at the same time, by putting Louie and Harry in a headline, it's almost like you're still trying to make them a thing, like a joint duo. Like it's not just Harry and Louie, it's like, Harry and Louie. But basically the article was saying that Louie and Harry are on different paths than each other. Like obviously Harry's doing his movie and he's probably gonna have some solo albums and then Louie's doing his own thing. But it's not like they're totally going their separate ways, like they're not gonna talk anymore or see each other anymore. So I guess this shows even further that you should not believe everything you read on the internet, especially if it's an article from Inquisitor or The Sun or just anything. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for today. And if I missed anything, I'll just mention it in my next video. So like always, I make a video whenever I want. So like and subscribe. All my my social media is down in the description and I will see you guys later. Bye.